Hi everyone, this is Michelle and welcome back to my channel. I was just going to show some of the other things that I've done with the film strips here recently. And I know that I just did the tabs, but I wanted to show you how you can do the tabs with some different shapes if you don't have one of the punch boards. Super easy. This one came from a roll of film that I found at an estate sale. So like this, so this is why it's curling, but once you add it to the paper with the glue, and I've been using this art glitter glue, it holds really well and it hasn't been a problem. So I'll just show you how we do that. Really easy, just figure out how long you want your film strip or your tab to be. And I think we're gonna do, I'm thinking two inches on this one. So I'm just gonna mark a little line so I can cut it real quick. And then I just cut it to my two inches, give or take. And then really easy, just take your ruler and I'm going to do, it's like a, a half by half inch. And you can make this any size. And I'm just gonna mark it for myself on each side. If you have a tab punch, it makes it a, a lot faster, but this is, Kind of a unique look to it and then i just took my round hole punch and i'm lining it up i don't know if you can tell to the corner of that box and i'm just going to come in here to the corner and then when i hit that corner it'll take out everything that we we drew so this you can make it smaller bigger just another example I don't know about you, but I haven't been real impressed with this particular cutter. So that one was much bigger than this or smaller, which is fine. You can use them for all different things. So that that's one way to get your tabs if you don't have a punch board, or you can just draw it out and create your own. So I just keep a little stack for journals and projects. Oops. Of course, we make a mess. So we'll just move this over. Now, the film strips that I have that I found in an estate sale come in all different sizes, colors. Um, some are smaller and some Christmas labels that I wanted to use in my journal. So the only thing I did here was at the bottom of the film strip, I just hung, I don't know how this is easy to see, some garment pins and charms, and then it'll just attach right to the page like that really self-explanatory it doesn't even really need to be seen um i always keep a list or cards with um, cardstock with some labels on it you can glue it on there it would be just as easy to come in and glue this and we'll just do it real quick so i use the fabri-tac and i found that the i don't know if it's the acetone or whatever is in there ate away a little bit at the film strip itself and that's when i switched to the art glitter glue it just seemed to hold it better without damaging and i don't know why but i can't cut a straight line there we go so then i just make a pile of these and if i wanted i can add a charm some rings anything like that off of these so that is one of them we'll set these aside really easy it doesn't take a whole lot of extra products to make this stuff put that pin back in or i'll lose it so the other one that i did and i'm sorry for the shaking i don't know what's going on um i made a pocket and so what i'll do is i'll just take it and i'll just attach it to my junk journal page and add whatever i want to it so the other thing with the film strips that i'd recommend is go ahead and get your stapler out and use it so i can either do a large pocket for this one which i think i might and all i'm going to do cut it to size i will add the glue to my pocket here really easy and if you wanted you could do a tab on or a half circle but I'm just going to leave it as is so I can get as much of the pocket as I can, or the film. And super easy. 
but add a little more interest with your stapler. Either way, you I mean, you, you can do it any way you want. Then I just start sticking in other pieces or dimensions. So there's a pocket using your film strip. And I glued just a, a little writing spot with some lined paper on this other one. So that is this one. The other thing I was doing, I was making some belly bands with them. And again, really easy. Just cut your strip of paper to size. This is off of one of the curled rolls that I have. So once we put it on the junk journal page for the belly band and I have glue on it, it'll be fine. But you can see because I used a light colored paper, you can really see what's coming through that film strip. So what I would do with this one is I'm going to go ahead and just add some of the glue. Not very much, but enough to hold the project. And then I just go to my film strip here. It's an old educational film strip from the 1970s. And so it has a lot of charts and random pieces on it. And here, I don't know if you can see it, is the start. I'm just going to take this and I measured the width of my film strip ahead of time and just cut a piece of paper somewhat similar. Now you will get a little bit of the glue coming through, which you can see here, but it doesn't really take away from it once you put it on your page. And I can move this around for just a few more seconds before it dries, hold it, and then I'll just trim it to size and put it in my supply box. So there's another idea, easy. Um, you know, you can use your punches on these strips. There's a lot of different things to do with them. For example, you can make, I've done some snowflakes where I take the film strip and take my punches and then just put it on a circle. I've also done this where I have just taken a piece and then save it for when I am ready to use it in the journal and I'll just glue it to a spot. And I never know what color will be under there, but that's, it'll just be a little embellishment at that point. So the only thing I do for these is create, I've learned this the hard way. It is much easier to cut your design before you go to your circle punch. So I'm just going to come in to the film strip about, I'm gonna to try to center as best I can. Punch it. See, and of course I didn't center it very well, but that's all right. Then I just took my round punch here and that is definitely not in the center as you can tell. So what I can do is just come in and trim that down so I can at least get it somewhat in the center. There we go, just like that. That will work and I'm just gonna punch that one piece. And again, I can either leave it for some other project, <coughs> pardon me, or come in and just add it to a book page. And I like the way it looks. It gives it a little more interest, I think, with this book page behind it. I'll just punch one out. And same thing, I just use my art glitter glue, kind of random on here, and mount it. And it's ready to go when, when I need it. So that's all I do with those. Really simple and fun use of these pieces. So you can definitely make tickets out of them. Whatever punch you have, uh, I would just make it that way. You could always then cut the negative space out and take something from one of your other books if you wanted to highlight it and just use it also as a, a placeholder. So that's an idea. Get these out of the way. Now, the other thing I did for my Christmas journals was I made 
what I thought I was trying to do was some of those Kodak um, film, I don't know what they're called, slides. And I did some embossing on the film strip to see, but it was a really difficult process and it, the heat was really hard on the film strip. So after a lot of different tries, I this is the best I had. And it was a little too much effort for, for what I'd like to do, but you can emboss on it. So the other thing that I did was make little journal cards. So this one will just pull out of a pocket. This one will pull out of a pocket, but also has, let's see if I have a ticket over here, also has a pocket in it. So you can do it either way. And this is another one that your stapler comes in handy. You might as well use your staple when you can. And all I did with this one was come in, glue that, um, and what I'm going to do is I just took my film strip here, you can take it either way, and I'm just going to fold, fold it in half, and I, I should have waited on the glue, but I missed, missed that, and then all I have to do is come in and staple it, which as you know is much easier when you don't have glue, and um, close it up, and that was all there was to this one. And of course you can come in and decorate it, you know, any way you want. Don't know, I'll just keep it neutral so that I can use it in any journal. I round the corners. So once I get ready for the journal itself, I can change this up in any way that I want. If I want it to mount it on the page or just use it to take it, you know, off. So this is one that I did where I just took some scrap tea dyed paper, folded it. And this one was just a regular tab. So I took one of my regular tabs and just put it in here. And again, right, you can make this in any way you want. And since I made this so skinny, let's see, how do I want to do it? We can do it this way. So many different ways to, to do this. I think I like that way. As you can tell, you could take a plain film strip right there and use it, and it works just as well too. But since we cut this one, we'll just use it. And then what I would do with this is obviously just decorate it and either leave it as a flip open journal space or you can close it up and you know make it a more solid piece and they can write on the back. So that is that one. And I believe those were the film strips projects that I used. Um, you can use them for accent pieces. I use the Fabri-Tac on this one and it just made a, a mess of it. And it's really stiff and you can hear it. It didn't, it doesn't hold it well. So I don't think I would use the Fabri-Tac for the film strips. Okay, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get to it and answer it.